Hello everyone, this is Suzanne Ferry Parrot with Unruly Guides and in this video I wanted to show you a simple way where you can make a master EPUB template file for yourself using Gutenberg and Sigil. Um, there are so many ways that you can make an EPUB but this one probably work, will work for many of you so I wanted to show you. First what you need to do is go to Gutenberg it's a free ebook source. Um, I like to just look in here at some of the latest books. And in this particular one, I chose Modern Magic. Now, it doesn't matter what title you choose, but if you are going to choose poetry, for example, then I would choose a book that is about poetry because it will show you the CSS layout, which is the style sheet layout that you need. Now, I had picked one of these magic books and I've already downloaded the EPUB with images. Now you can see a lot. You can read this book online, you can view it in HTML, and that's what I would do at first is look at it to see if it's the layout that you're looking for. Um, I've already downloaded this file and I'll show you what I did. It will come in as PG, which is Project Gutenberg. It'll have a number and it'll say it has images. Now I go to save the file and I've already saved it here in a folder which I created called My Master Book File. So, once you have done that, then what you want to do is find the file again. And you're going to also have to go and download Sigil. And we're going to find that right now so you can download it. And it is available for Macintosh and PC. What I do to find Sigil is you just type S-I-G-I-L in the Google search and it's usually one of the first ones up there, a WYSIWYG ebook editor. What you're going to do here is click it and then it'll show you on the left side. You'll see that you'll find where it says featured and then downloads. There's a zip file, bin files, exe, and you can go to show all if you're not sure which one that you want to download and it'll tell you it's for Linux, Windows, Mac, and on down. So you download the one that you want, and then once you get it installed, then come back to the video. Okay, now you're, you've got your Sigil in, um, installed, and what we want to do now here is you want to open the EPUB in Sigil. Now for me, I can just highlight it and right click and go open with, and I can choose what I want with this. You may have to go open up Sigil and then just go to File, which is up in the menu bar, and Open. And unfortunately, I'm sorry, you can't see that right now. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what is going on in here. Now, Sigil is a great program. It, can ha it allows you to edit the HTML. This first one is called Wrap, but you can see it's just the cover. We're going to look at the source code. You look at these little caret things at the top. You can always enlarge it at any time. View the page. So you can see that it has a div, which is fine, has the image of the cover, and then a closing div. Now the images did pull in because they were all in the same folder. What I suggest is now we're going to change that to just cover.jpg because that is going to be the name of yours, or that's what I recommend that you call your cover. We'll replace it later. We also want to center it. And in my CSS that I have, it's easy to do. You can go class, quote, center, close quote. And you'll have to remember to add that to your CSS. You can add it up here, which it says text align center, which it is already actually up there. Or you can add it directly to the CSS down there. This one's saying that every div on the page will text align center. That's fine. I don't always do that because I might not. I might have some other divs on the page and don't want it centered, but this is fine. So now this next page, you can see, if we go back to the little page thing, you can see what's going on. They've got a section here, they've got the cover again, and then that's it. What I found interesting in here is there are sections that have poetry. So if we look at the code, this may be sections that you want to keep. And you can see poems, stanza, whatever. So what you want to do is you go through and delete what you don't want, things that you are interested in. You can rename the file. What you do is you right click, like on this one was the cover. You right click, rename, cover. I didn't have time to go through everything, but I hope that this was helpful. And then I'm going to try to have a follow-up video. This is Suzanne with Unruly Guides. Have a great day.